chances are if you clicked on this video, you are looking to get a sale in the next 24 hours. Now there is no time to waste. So we are hopping straight into this video and hopefully I will deliver on what is promised from this video. And a lot of you come back to this video tomorrow to tell me if you got a sale or not by implementing these methods. With that being said, did you hear that? What was that? Wait, no way. No way. That was a cha-ching from the future. If you're watching this, you may see tomorrow. Now, while I can't promise that you're going to get a sale in the next 24 hours, what I can promise during this video is to give you a lot of information and value that hopefully will get you multiple sales in the future, if not in the next 24 hours. However, I'm curious to see how many of you get a sale in the next 24 hours. So please do come back to this video and let us know in the comments what worked, what didn't work. Again, I'm not here to waste your time. We're getting straight into this. I'm making this video super short and sweet for that reason. Now, whether this is your first sale or your hundredth sale, when I began my Etsy shop, I implemented the strategies and tactics I am sharing in this video today. This is my quote unquote bulletproof formula to getting one sale in the next 24 hours that I have found that works time and time again without fault. Now, what I'm going to be suggesting in this video are action taking steps. We are not talking about a theory or something that you need to manifest in your head. These are all concrete action steps you do need to take. This is stepping out of your comfort zone. There are a lot of things that you need to allow in and allow yourself to do that are going to feel a little bit uncomfy. But if they get you that sale, that's what's important. With that being said, we need to talk about having a shop. If you don't have the shop, if you don't have a catalog for people to purchase from, you're not going to see the result, which is hopefully that sale in the next 24 hours. So if you don't have listings that are going to sell on repeat, this method is just not gonna work for you. With that being said, you can start with other videos on this channel. I really invite you to watch those because before you go back to this video, you can watch this video in, in its entirety, then come back to this another time once you have more listings on your shop. Now for a print on demand business, generally speaking, high volumes of listings is what's going to open the door to getting daily sales or even that first sale. When we're talking about high volumes of listings in total, that's usually about over 25 listings at the very minimum to have in a shop to see your first sale or see a sale again in that next 24 hours. You can have just one listing though. I don't want to discount or discredit having one listing, but if you are new to the world of Etsy and selling on a online marketplace, generally speaking, you will want to have some listings and some experience and know if your listings are going to sell or if they're not going to sell. So in order to prep yourselves for getting a sale in the next 24 hours, there are three things that need to happen. First of all, you need to adopt the all in mindset. If you're not all in on these methods, they truly are not going to work for you. If you kind of half it, you are not going to see results. And that's why you need to be all in. The second mindset shift is to accept that you may not actually get a sale in the next 24 hours. And that's okay because you tried something that was different and that may create different results. And that might not be in the next 24 hours. It might actually happen in a week or two weeks. I would not keep your thoughts so consumed by getting one sale that if it doesn't actually happen, you feel defeated and like a failure. I titled this video what I titled it because I knew it would grab the attention of those who are seeking that sale in the next 24 hours, which is a realistic goal. If again, you implement the strategies in this video because you are going in a step in the right direction because you're implementing strategies that have helped myself, my clients, my students, my subscribers, my followers in the past few years on Etsy to get a sale, whether that be tomorrow, the next day, or in the next week. But with that being said, oh my gosh, that's like 
The most common thing I say in every single video is, if you didn't skip ahead in this video, comment below with that being said, because I know I say that in every video. Now that you've accepted that it may not happen or it might happen, I want to go into the third concept, which is adopting a trial and error mindset. This is crucial for any business you create because I came from a science background. I was not taught formally how to go about marketing and from the beginning, of my Etsy business, I looked at it like almost a science experiment, if you will. I was testing all of these variables and trying different things. And as I began teaching on YouTube and working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, I found a client that told me in our one-on-one -on -one meeting, oh, you know, I love that you teach that this is a trial and error mindset. And I never really thought about Etsy and print on demand like that until this client said, this and I realized that is exactly what I want people to have as a takeaway when they start a business because business is trial and error. You're going to try things that don't work. You're going to try things that do work and then you're going to probably start doing that thing that does work again and again because it gives you sales which is the ultimate goal. If it doesn't work, it didn't work and I like to quote this person that I actually met on me and my husband's honeymoon recently which I've heard the saying so many times, but it wasn't until we met this really nice couple. They were talking to us and we were going to ask a question that we were scared to ask. And the husband of the couple said, you know, the worst thing that they could say is no. The worst thing that could happen for your business right now and in the next 24 hours is someone saying no to you. And the best thing that could happen is someone saying yes and purchasing from you. So keep that in mind as we go forward in this video because it's gonna come up again. So now we're here at the point of the video that probably most of you skipped to. And for those who didn't, you guys are OGs. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you just skipped to this part, that is completely okay, no judgment. But I still think that the first part of this video is really good to watch. So I'd suggest going back a little bit because I'm going to reference something that I said a little bit ago. Besides that, these are the two methods that I have implemented in my own businesses. And I've had subscribers and followers and students and clients who have implemented these strategies have done in order to get a sale in the next 24 hours or even on their first day having an Etsy shop open. Surprisingly enough, even when I implemented this strategy into my second shop that I created on Etsy, I was surprised by how quickly I got a first sale. Then I started getting almost daily sales within the first two weeks of having the shop open. And these are uncomfortable steps, but just know if you do do these, you may see results. If you implement one of the two methods, you're probably going to see a one out of two success rate. If you implement both methods, you're most likely going to see a very high success rate in getting a sale in the next 24 hours. The first part of this method is asking for a sale. There are three ways to ask for a sale. You do not have to do all three. You can choose one out of the three. The first method is asking five to 10 friends, coworkers, family to purchase from your shop. A lot of you may be sitting here right now like, Heather, duh, that's how you get a first sale in the first 24 hours. But what really happens and what's really great about asking anyone is they may ask you, hey, I don't see anything on your shop that I really like, but can you create this? And that this product could turn into a product that ends up selling on repeat and it could potentially also become a bestseller later on down the line because it's a product you never thought of creating. Now, if you're still sticking with me at this point and you're like, okay, I have to ask a friend or family, I am mortified, I am terrified to show anyone that I'm working on a business or Etsy shop, you don't have to ask anyone. This is where I go into the second way to ask for a sale, which is going to social media. Now, again, I know for a lot of people, it's terrifying, it's anxiety inducing to even think of social media and posting on your Facebook, but this might be a really
really great step in the right direction that you can take by sharing on your Facebook, sharing on your Instagram, your new business, and just asking people to purchase from it. There is a third way that goes alongside this, which is joining communities on Facebook, on Discord, in niches that you are designing your products for and posting and offering a discount to those groups. Given, I want to give a caution here to ask the admins of each Facebook group, of each Discord, if you can post your small business in those before you do this. But this is a really valid way of posting and letting people know and asking for a sale without actually asking anyone that you know. Now I implemented this method in 2021 and the results were shocking. If I had known that all I had to do was ask a admin in the Facebook groups, I would have done this way earlier because the results were incredible. And again, going back to that couple I met on our honeymoon and the husband who told me the worst they could say is no. Wish I met that person a while back because it took me a little bit of time to realize that all I had to do was ask admins and a lot of admins were more happy to say yes, especially when you're creating products in a underserved niche. There's not many products for a lot of niches niches that people really want to buy. And if you have that product, an admin is more likely to say yes because they want to share that in their group as well. The day that I posted in one Facebook group, I ended up getting over 10 sales that day by posting in that Facebook group. And had I been afraid of the answer no, then I would have never hit 250K in revenue on Etsy, which was a 100K gross take home profit, guys. If you are sitting here terrified and petrified of the answer no, I want you to get excited about having a yes. And one suggestion I have and pro tip, if you made it to this part of the video, is also to offer the admins a group discount for posting in that group, which even looks better for the admins and even complimenting the admins in that post. And then that's even more goodwill in your favor to post in the future as well. I know it is the scariest method, but again, this is the way that you can start to see results is getting out of your comfort zone and doing something different that you haven't done before. Now, the second method is marketing. Now, this is going to seem very simple to a lot of you and a no brainer to others. But for me, I began with absolutely no marketing background as we established earlier in this video. And when I discovered this method, it honestly was a game changer for my shop. I went from having maybe one sale a day to tripling my daily sales. This method is running flash sales as simple as it might seem. I I began running a flash sale just about every other day in my business and I would set my sales for 24 hours. I would offer a 10 to 15 to 20% off discount. And from turning on that flash sale within 24 hours of that sale starting and ending, I usually would have one sale, a few sales. When I started scaling my business, I'd have 10 to 20 sales. Even when I was implementing the Facebook posts, I would post in Facebook groups. I usually would see 10 sales on an average day if I didn't have a sale running. And then I would see 20 to 30 sales if I used posting in Facebook groups and then also running a flash sale at the same time. Now, the second part of this method that you can also do is using Etsy ads, applying Etsy ads in the marketing method of this by you running the flash sale event and then also turning on ads, this can boost your visibility on Etsy, get you more traffic, more clicks, and more eyeballs on those listings. However much you're willing to spend on the next day on Etsy, you could at least try this to boost your visibility. And again, you're also boosting your visibility by sharing with maybe friends, family, coworkers on Facebook, you're sharing on social media. There are just so many ways that this just ultra boosts your listings on Etsy and you can see a sale in the next 24 hours. So if you made it to the end of this video, all in all, these are the methods, the two methods that pushed my own shop out of its comfort zone. It pushed me out of my comfort zone as a new entrepreneur and having a new Etsy shop that I didn't know would succeed or fail on Etsy. 
especially in the beginning stages where I didn't really want to tell anyone I had an Etsy shop. And I'm really happy when I finally broke through out of my comfort zone. I heard so many people say it, which was, hey, you know, if you just share it on social media, if you share your new shop, if you tell people about it, more than likely going to get some sales coming through by just telling people that you know. And that is terrifying for me as a new Etsy shop owner. And I also want to clarify in this video, no, you do not need to tell anyone that you know. You do not need to ask people that you know. Besides that, that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, like the video to share this to more people, and check out my suggested video here on a Etsy niche gold mine I found. And I also give a full tutorial on how to create in that niche as well. See you guys in the next video.